Hey YouTube, I'm the Will of DC, talking metrics and Comscore and Nielsen all on today's YouTube news. As more and more traditional media and analytic companies decide to open their eyes and realize YouTube isn't going anywhere, they are eager to take advantage of it in any way they can. Now Nielsen, which is famous for tracking TV and radio viewership, has finally joined us here on YouTube and Entertainment's New Frontier. May 2012 marks the first month that Nielsen has publicly reported streaming measurements on thousands of YouTube partners. Now you'd think the story ends there, but oh no, it's just the beginning. Comscore is already the industry's leader in reporting stats and analytics on YouTube, and now Nielsen is trying to muscle its way in, but they're doing it in a much worse way than Comscore by using an analytics that isn't stacking up to industry leader Comscore's rankings. The top five YouTube partner channels according to Nielsen's rankings are Vivo, Warner Music Group, Machinima, Fullscreen, and Maker Studios, which they say combined for nearly 1.5 billion total streams. I've linked below their press release with all their numbers, and so let's compare them to Comscore's. Nielsen says Vivo had 41 million unique users, while Comscore says 47 million. 6 million may seem like a small number for Vivo, but let's think about how much money and influence 6 million people carry. That's a lot. Looking at the YouTube networks, Nielsen has Machinima at 17 million, while Comscore has them at 23 million, a 6 million view difference again. This is unique viewers. Full screen, which is four for Nielsen, is actually five for Comscore, from 12 million to 14 million. I was expecting to see the 6 million difference again, so I'm very surprised as to just how they're using metrics to determine such widely different analytics numbers. Finally, Maker Studios, which is listed as having nine million unique views for this month, is fifth, which is fourth for Comscore with 16 million unique viewers a month. That makes a seven million viewership difference, the highest of any of the other channels being reported by both. So now we've got a problem. An industry leader who knows the space like Comscore presenting one set of numbers claiming for them to be the you know most accurate versus TV radio giant Nielsen, who you know common sense might say would know nothing about our space presenting their numbers as the most accurate. Traditional media will obviously side with Nielsen, but if I'm a betting man, I'm to put my stock with Comscore, the ones who've proven to get the numbers right, but this presents a bigger issue. As more and more companies get into the YouTube business, who are we going to trust and who is going to rank channels and how are statistics and analytics going to be manipulated and abused for each company's own purposes? I'm not saying Nielsen is like lying or the numbers are like deceiving, but what I'm saying is that everyone needs to open source their information maybe because when it comes to numbers reports like this, we can't really have different answers to the same black and white objective questions. Did Maker have 9 million unique viewers or 16 million or some other number? There is a clear objective answer to this question. YouTube needs to step it up too, I think, and partner with one, if really not all these companies, to give full access to their view count trackers so that the public knows exactly who is watching what and by how much. This is just, I don't know, too important to fuck around with. Both also report interesting tidbits like more than half of each channel's unique viewers were under the age of 35, and 84.5% of the US internet audience viewed online video in May, and the duration of the average online content video was 6.5 million, or 6.5 minutes, while the average online video ad was 0.4 minutes. Video ads actually accounted for 21% of all video viewed, and 1.9% of all minutes spent viewing videos online. So this story is far from over, and when June analytics numbers come out, I'm gonna compare them again. Hopefully they will match it up, and if not, we might have to sit down and figure out this thing once and for all. And that's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching YouTube News. As always, remember to leave all your comments down below, rate, thumbs up, and subscribe. Send to your friends if you loved it, and I'll see you tomorrow on another episode of YouTube News. Bye, everybody.